say that it feels right Hi guys, welcome back to my channel So today I'm doing a bullying story So when I was at school um, I was bullied from like year 7 to year 11 It was quite a hard time because obviously of my weight um, 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 it's obviously not going to be easy talking about this so if I pause or if I look somewhere else it's nothing to do with you guys it's more to do with me obviously it was an easy time for me because obviously it affected my confidence my confidence went from up here to down there so let's start in year 7 so in year 7 obviously I was quite a chubby child so that's where it started so as i was quite chubby you see people obviously made fun of my weight and um me and my friend lacy we always used to talk each other because we'd known each other from like um primary school and secondary school so we used to be, like get on quite a well like quite a lot but obviously she had her own friend group i had my own friend group so it was just very different lives. So we tried to stay in contact, but we just kind of like just drifted apart, which is obviously okay, like it's bound to happen. But obviously she was my best friend at the time. So it was a girl called Madison. Madison and Lacey were my two best friends throughout school, but they never had my back. Like if something used to happen, they would always like back away, never take my side. They would always take other people's side. As I'm editing this video, I've noticed that I say about my friends not being, like, behind my back. Obviously, Lacey had nothing to do with this storyline. It was more Madison that didn't have my back. But obviously, as I said, we'll get to that. So, year seven, it was all, like, more bullying about my way. Like, I'll get called a beast. Like, no one will love me. No one will want me. Like, um... Where's the like, nearest McDonald's? Where's the nearest like food court? All that type of stuff. So at lunchtime, I'd always just go to the library, play on my phone, pretend like if someone came up to me, I'd just pretend to be on my phone, pretend nothing happened. And that's where like I wouldn't eat lunch either. That's where my like food habits kind of went. Like they weren't good. I'd snack throughout the day. I'd literally go to the toilet, eat, and then I'd come out. I was literally so scared to even go to the toilet because I was like, what if there's, like, the popular group? What if they were in there? And obviously, through school, it affected me quite a lot. Because obviously, people don't think about their actions, but their actions have consequences, and they need to learn from these actions because it's not fair for someone like me to go through stuff like that when there was no one like me, and then... They would just go and do that. They would be horrible. They would make fun. They wouldn't be respectful. And that's what hurt me the most. As being respectful to someone who's respecting you, you deserve it back. So let's go into year eight. Year eight was a bit better. Like, obviously I had my friends and all that. Like, it was okay. Approximately ten hours later. Um... There was a girl that lived near my street, so we talked quite a lot, we became friends as well, because we all kind of had the same friend group. And then when it came to like year 9 and 10, that's when it started going downhill again. Obviously, we had to do a singing assignment for music, and um, obviously we sung Adele, and obviously that's quite a hard song to sing, as it is. And um, I thought I'd have the confidence to do something like that. And I'm glad I did do it. But a guy said, you can't sing, why would you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Like, he was just making fun of my singing. Um, someone knocked into my bag, all my stuff went flying on the floor. I was literally on the verge of breaking it down, having a mental breakdown. <laughs> Friends are laughing. I'm having an emotional breakdown. Not. Show me support. <laughs> my mum at the time didn't know any of this was happening. I mean, my school could have phoned them, but I don't think they would have known. 
So year 11 was probably the worst year. So me, Madison and a few other people in our friend group, um, we decided to obviously sit in the library, have lunch together. And then obviously, I was still quite chubby in year 10, 11, because obviously I weren't eating properly. It all went downhill, as I said. So obviously we all went to the canteen to eat lunch together. We all like sat together, acted like friends. I thought we were all fine. But outside of school, they would obviously see each other and then they wouldn't involve me. They would always just go off by themselves. And um, that's what I heard the most because I was like, I've been friends with Madison since like first school. Why is she acting like this? <whistles> like we used to be such good friends and then after school she blocks me, she doesn't speak to me. And I just don't understand why she would do something like that. Because why would someone do that to you? after literally everything like I may have not been a good friend but bullying and blocking someone is you just don't do that you just don't so year 11 came and then there was a new girl let's call her Louise in our group so Louise was a bit of a bitch I'm not gonna lie she was a bit of a female dog because ever since she came in our group everyone acted differently she was like the queen bee she made the group possible and like it just wasn't good. It wasn't a good atmosphere. There was so much tension. They wouldn't hang around me as much. And um, after that, um, yeah. um, 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 so me and a girl called, let's call her Abby, we went to um, the library together. We were joking around because we saw her face. And obviously this is quite immature. Like we were 16, 15 at the time. I decided to, like, Abby said, oh, I dare you to draw, like, a moustache on her face. So I drew a moustache on her face as a joke. I thought she would find it a bit funny, but obviously not. And then she confronted me next to the canteen. She was like, why would you do that? Like, it's disgusting. You're disgusting. Like, disgusting! Like, you're fat, you're ugly, all this stuff. She'll be like, what have I done to you? And obviously I can understand like people grow out of friendships but at the same time I deserve that reason. If you don't want to be my friend anymore just say. Don't just be like oh um, make fun or drift apart. I'd rather someone say I know I haven't been with you like around you lately as a friend. But that's because we just drift apart like we're going our separate lives like after school like you're going six one I'm going here. It's just not very likely that we'll be as close as we used to. I'd rather someone say that than be a snake and go behind my back and make fun of people or make fun of me because that's just not mature. That is so immature and disrespectful. So anyway, so me and Madison, we obviously, and a few other girls, we went to the lunch, well, to the canteen. And then obviously we went to our classrooms. I had media, so I went to my media classroom. So I stood outside waiting to obviously go in the class and that's when obviously she approached me, when Abby approached me and said why did you draw a moustache on my face in the library, why would you do that? Obviously Sophie and everyone was there and they were like all ganged up around me. I was standing by the door and they were standing in front of me like in the semicircle and um, she started saying like loads of rubbish and loads of like stories saying like why would you do this obviously this was a while ago so i can't even remember exactly what went down that day i just know i remember i picked up my hand to obviously because she was aggravating me violence is never the answer so don't do it i should have just went straight to a teacher i should have just done that so i slapped her because she was like oh hit me then hit me because i raised my fist she was like hit me then hit me <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, obviously, I slapped her, which was not the right thing to do because that could have just aggravated her. But at the same time, she pushed me to do that because it was just horrible. And then, obviously, a teacher, she walked closer and I can't remember exactly if she slapped me or she hurt me in any way. I can't remember the details. 
but I just know I was upset and angry and then and they were like they took us to time out time out is a place where you go if you're like um, in trouble or you need to speak to someone or something like that if you like get into trouble in the classroom that's where you go for like detention or whatever so we went to this room like we told everyone else like you need to go like like space out is between me and this girl and that's when obviously it all kicked off again because all the teach the teacher was like it did look like they were intimidating me from the way they were standing in that semicircle and then obviously we've had after that like we all went to our normal classrooms we all went back to class and um 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 Lucky enough, obviously, Madison was in that class. She didn't say one word to me. She didn't say anything. So I was like, fine, you do what you have to do. Like, just don't come running to me when you need me or you need advice or whatever. Because I always, I would stick up for you, so why didn't you stick up for me? And then days got worse after that. Like, she would try and trip me up in the corridor. Abby would try and trip me up in the corridor. And it just went downhill really quick. I thought Madison was my friend, but obviously not. Because what friend does that? What friend doesn't stick up for her friend? So yeah, that happened. And then it was just like slight comments. Like I'd be scared if I saw her in a corridor, I'd walk the opposite direction. Which is a bit weird because she was younger than me. She was a year below or two years below. So I shouldn't have been scared of her. But because she had this persona of being like argumentative, stubborn, a bit of a bitch. She thought she could hold that against me. So... It went downhill like really quick and then we had a meeting with everyone and then time out we're like we need to fix this problem we need to sort it because this is to get ridiculous now and this girl abby she was like well none of us want to be here so why are we all here none of us want to sort this and then i said to like the time out lady i was like well not really because i want to sort this it's going a bit ridiculous now so that's why my grades kind of went downhill as well because Obviously, it was a hard time for me and everyone that was in, like, that goes through the same situation. Because, obviously, if you're so scared of seeing one person, you would rather just not go into school or anything. And, obviously, I tried to get out of going to school. I would say to mum, like, I don't feel well. Can I miss school? She would obviously say no. And I couldn't tell her the reason why, because I thought, if they're not going to do anything at school, what can my mum do? She won't do anything. So, um... After the timeout session, it kind of went down a bit. But obviously, because they were all friends, they kind of pushed me out of the group. So I would go and sit in the library, obviously do the same thing again. Like, I would just sit, go through my social media, pretend like nothing happened. Even to this day, like, I never want to see that girl in my life. If I see her, like, all the memories would just come back. Like, I went for a job interview at Next got the job, everything, like, I was happy to be there because I knew a few people there. And then I saw her and I was like, no, I can't work here. It was just, like, when you go through bullying, it can, like, the slightest thing can trigger you. And um, I just believe if I was to be with her, every little thing would trigger me. So I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't sit there and be triggered throughout the whole time that I'm there because I'm just like, well, what if she starts again? Like, what about workplace bullying? And it was just horrible. And then obviously after school and nowadays, I'm getting a bit better. My confidence is rising. My advice to someone that's being bullied is it does get better. Obviously after school, you won't speak to them ever again. You won't see them ever again. So the thing is, you just got to act strong, speak to someone. I didn't speak to anyone, which I should have done. And you just got to be there for each other like if you're being bullied like you just need to think there's obviously something going on in their life that's making them do that so you just got to be strong and be the bigger person stick up for yourself go and speak to someone obviously violence isn't the answer so don't do violence but always be there for each other if you have a friend or whatever and if she doesn't stick up for you then she's not your friend she is a snake so just make sure that your friends are really your friends and if you have any troubles or queries, speak to someone 
and I'm always here if you need to like answer if you need me to answer any questions or if you need advice because obviously I've been there I've done that I just want to make sure that people that are going through a similar thing get the support that they need hope you enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up subscribe and click the bell and I will see you next time <laughs>